Hey YouTube, Scarpio here. This week we're going to talk about Debilitate, Reflect, and Revenge, which requires some shield switching. If you haven't already seen my video on Resonance where I talk about shield switching, I'll put a card right up here for you all. There are times when fighting a boss when you realize ahead of time that you totally screwed up. You know, a big hit or many hits are about to come, and devotion and resonance are on cooldown. But you have time to prepare for it. Hopefully you listened to some of my earlier videos and brought a shield to switch to because it's going to come in handy here. The abilities that are going to help you in this situation are debilitate, reflect, and revenge. All three are threshold abilities, requiring 50% adrenaline and costing 15. This means to use them back to back, you need 80% adrenaline, but there are times where you know in advance and can build your adrenaline to prepare. When triggering debilitate, you deal 20 to 100% weapon damage and reduce any incoming damage by 50% for 7.8 seconds. Wearing a shield when using this ability will extend the duration by 0.6 seconds for every 10 shield levels. This means with a tier 90 shield, you can have 50% damage reduction for 13.8 seconds. You can further increase this with the Invention Burke Bulwark, but Debilitate will deal no damage which isn't worth it in my opinion. Reflect will reduce all damage by 50% and reflect the other 50% damage back to your target for 10 seconds. This should still be used, even if the boss can't take reflected damage, since it will give you the 50% damage reduction. Now the 50% from Debilitate and the 50% from Reflect don't add up to 100% damage reduction. If the hit you're about to take is 8,000, Debilitate makes this 4,000 and Reflect will make it 2,000. And having a Protection Prayer will make this 1,000. This is the reason why we want to use these two abilities together. The downside to using these two abilities is losing out on DPS, but we're about to get some of that back with Revenge. When triggering Revenge, any attacks you receive increases your max hit by 10%, stacking up to 100% and lasting for 20 seconds. When wielding a Defender, Rebounder, or Repriser, this is reduced to 5% per hit, but it allows you to use Decimate, Concentrated Blast, and Needle Strike. One example for using these abilities together would be against Hellweir's Frenzy mechanic. After he does his big swipe attack, I know I have three auto attacks before he goes into his Frenzy state. Since Devotion is on cooldown, I'll use Debilitate, then Reflect, and then Revenge. Before the Frenzy starts, Debilitate and Reflect will lower the damage along with the melee protect, but the Revenge will stack up fast with the Frenzy attacks and the bleed it applies to me, allowing me to deal tons of damage while hardly taking any. These are also useful to use against Phase 2 Telos when he starts using his magic onslaught and your Devotion is on cooldown or phase 4, when you know you're about to get a so much power, but you're not at 100% adrenaline to use barricade. These will also be necessary when learning tank rolls for raids, angel of death, and solak. Let me know down below which bosses you plan to take these abilities to to practice. If you want to know next week's topic, join us on the discord server where we talk pvm, show offer drops and achievements, and many more. The link is down below. Make sure you all stay healthy, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.